Approximately 6% of couples in the real world who get divorced remarry the same spouse. This is slightly more common in the strange and ever-changing world of Hollywood. Celebrity marriages happen almost every day, but their love tends to transition from hot to cold fairly quickly. Celebrity divorces are also commonplace, but there are a few special cases where these stars end up marrying the same person twice. Keep watching for a look at Hollywood celebrities who married the same person twice. Lana Turner Lana Turner grew up in foster care while her mother worked to support her. Her breakout role was in the 1937 film They Won't Forget. That led to several other films, including The Postman Always Rings Twice and A Star Is Born. Lana became a sex symbol and had a few flings with men like Frank Sinatra, Clark Gable, Ronald Reagan, and Tyrone Power. She was married eight times to men like Robert Dante, Robert Eaton, Fred Max, Lex Barker, Henry Topping, and Artie Shaw. The man she married twice was Stephen Crane. The remarriage occurred after she became pregnant with their child in 1943. Lana's memoir, Lana, the Lady, the Legend, the Truth, revealed more details about her love life. Her daughter Cheryl wrote a book in 1988 about her mother's life called Detour, a Hollywood Story. Lana died at age 75 from natural causes despite having throat cancer in her final three years. Cheryl stayed by her mother's side and they became closer than ever. Elizabeth Taylor Elizabeth Taylor is almost as famous for her many marriages as for her acting talents. She met Richard Burton on the set of the 1963 film Cleopatra. She was married to her fourth husband, Eddie Fisher, at the time, but the attraction was immediate. They began an affair despite her being friends with his wife, Debbie Reynolds. She first married Richard on March 15, 1964. They filed for divorce ten years later, but were briefly married again in 1975. Natalie Wood Natalie first appeared on screen before her fifth birthday in the 1943 film Happy Land. She met Robert at the 20th Century Fox studio when she was 10 and he was 18. The studio arranged their first date, but that was fine by Natalie because she immediately knew she'd marry him. They were wed a year later in 1956. He proposed by placing a pearl and diamond ring in her champagne glass. The couple took a yacht around the Florida Keys for their honeymoon even though Natalie was afraid of deep water. She rose to fame with films like West Side Story, Splendor in the Grass, and Gypsy. The glare of the spotlight and possible infidelity caused them to separate in 1961 and divorce in 62. Natalie received regular therapy to deal with the trauma of the split, but both sides looked for other loves. Robert married actress Marion Marshall in 63 and had a daughter named Katie. They divorced in 1971. Natalie married producer Richard Gregson in 1969 and had a daughter named Natasha. They split amicably in 1972 after an alleged inappropriate conversation with his secretary. Natalie and Robert were remarried three months later and seen in public again for the first time at the 1972 Academy Awards. Robert's TV career began to soar with shows like It Takes a Thief and Heart to Heart, but Natalie was semi-retired by the time they had their second child, Courtney, in 1974. Natalie Wood mysteriously died on November 29, 1981. She fell off Splendor, the family yacht, and drowned. Robert remains a person of interest in her death, but asserts he has no idea what happened. Rodney Dangerfield Rodney Dangerfield touched almost every area of the entertainment world. He was an actor, screenwriter, producer, and the first stand-up comedian to ever have his own website. Rodney only ever loved two women. His first wife was Joyce Indig. He was married to her at age 30 in 1951. He quit show business and became an aluminum siding salesman to provide for her and their family. They had their first child, Brian Roy, after moving from New York to New Jersey. They divorced in 1962 due to his depression, but they remarried in 63 and had another child, a daughter named Melanie Roy Friedman. In 1970, they divorced once and for all, with Joyce retaining custody of both children. The day Rodney met his second wife, Joan Child, was like a scene from a romance movie. He passed a Santa Monica flower shop, but couldn't look away when he passed her. She also said it was love at first sight, and she was already his fan. He went by the shop every other day to speak with her. She was 30 years younger and of a different faith, but they were still meant to be. They were married in 1993, and he stayed with her until the end. Rodney died in October of 2004 due to complications from surgery. 
He left his estate and all ownership of his intellectual property to Joan Child. She runs a website dedicated to him and the Rodney Dangerfield Institute for the Study of Comedy at the L.A. City College. She made a two-hour documentary about his life and is on the advisory board of the Department of Neurosurgery at UCLA, where he passed away. We've been looking around for an exciting alternative investment for 2022, and a new fintech startup caught our attention, Masterworks.io. Masterworks gives everyone, not just high rollers, the chance to invest in a piece of famous Picasso, Monet, and Banksy paintings. Why art? Art has outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2021 by 164% and has almost no correlation with stocks. Is it legit? Yes. Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings filled with the Securities and Exchange Commission as public offerings. Is anyone doing it? Yes, again. Over 300,000 investors have already signed up. In fact, one of their latest offerings by famous street artist Banksy sold out in under three hours. Check them out online at masterworks.art slash faxverse. That's masterworks.art slash faxverse. Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters maintained a 60-year career interviewing the biggest names in Hollywood. She began as a writer and producer of The Today Show in the 1960s and became the show's first female co-host in 74. Barbara first married former Navy lieutenant and businessman Robert Henry Katz in 1955. Their marriage was annulled in 57. She met producer and theater owner Lee Goober in 1961 after a blind date. They were married in 1963 but lived in separate homes for their first six months together due to their hectic lives. After three miscarriages, they adopted Jacqueline in 1968 in honor of Barbara's disabled sister. The couple temporarily separated in 72 and divorced in 76. Barbara married Merv Adelson, the CEO of Lorimar Television, in 1981. They divorced in 84 and were remarried in 86 until they divorced in 1992. Barbara claimed in a 2014 ABC special she wasn't good at marriage and felt her career was too important. She has zero regrets about adopting her daughter and feels it's one of the best things she ever did. She also regrets not having more children. Barbara is 90 now and retired from journalism, but The View, a show she created in 1997, continues to deliver the latest entertainment news. There are rumors she has dementia, but her former co-star Whoopi Goldberg denies these claims. Larry King Larry King admits no one lived together when he grew up without being married. He claimed he married every woman he loved, but that the ones he loved at 20 aren't the same ones he loved at 30. Larry's first marriage was to his high school sweetheart Frieda Miller in 1952. He was only 18 at the time, and the marriage was annulled in 1953 because her parents disapproved. Larry's second and shortage marriage was to Annette Kay, whom he wed in 1961. They were only together for a year but had a son named Larry Jr. He didn't know about his famous father until his mother told him in 1994 on her deathbed. Larry married Aline Akins, a former Playboy Bunny, in 1961. He adopted her son Andy and had a daughter named Chaya with her. They divorced in 63. Larry met Mickey Sutphin while working at a radio station in Miami. They were married in 1963 and had a daughter named Kelly. They divorced in 67, and their daughter was allegedly adopted by her second husband. Larry married Aline again in 1967, but divorced her again in 72. She died in 2017, and he sent out a tweet that she was a grand lady. Larry married math teacher and production assistant Sharon Lepore in 1976. Their relationship was private but rocky, and they divorced in 83. He married businesswoman Julie Alexander in 1989, less than a year after meeting her. Despite the passion, they were separated in 1990 and divorced in 2010 after she began to suspect he was cheating. His final marriage was to Sean Southwick. They were married in his hospital room when he went for surgery to unclog a blood vessel in 1997. They had two sons, Chance and Cannon. They had a 26-year age difference and there were rumors of infidelity. She was crushed when they divorced in 2019, but they were reportedly still married at the time of his death. Jean-Claude Van Damme Jean-Claude Van Damme is a famous actor, martial artist, filmmaker, and fight choreographer. His first marriage was to Darcy Lapierre from 1994 to 97. He met Gladys Portuguese, a bodybuilder and Miss Olympia contestant, at a photo shoot. They were married in 1987 and had two children. 
They divorced in 92. John Claude married Darcy Lapeer in 1994. The couple separated a year later after he cheated on her with Kylie Minogue while she was pregnant with his child. John Claude tried marriage a few other times. He was married to Cynthia Dardien from 1985 to 86 and Maria Rodriguez from 1980 to 84. He and Gladys reconnected and remarried in 1999 in Belgium. Rumors spread they wanted to get divorced again in 2015. She filed the papers but changed her mind. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite celebrity who married the same person more than once? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.